Uh, the question from Sam Panzica. Beer power cool. rankings. What? Beer power rankings? Beer power rankings, and then I don't really give a fuck about that, honestly. You can answer it if you want to, but whatever. You don't have to. And then also the best – this is what I care about. The best you and Hidden Hammer story. <laughs> Hidden, okay. Hammer, Hidden, Hidden, Hidden Hammer is Darren Elias. It's not even close. The best – it's not – even a little bit close. The best me and Darren Elias story, we played Scoop and Whistler in 2015 or so, right? So schedule starts super early there. Uh, we were playing from like 7 or 8 in the morning until like 4, and then we were like 10 minutes out of town because I fucked up the booking, and then we would walk this path to town, and the closest restaurant was called Stone's Edge. and this guy that owned it actually looked like this porn star named Evan Stone. You can Google him. So this guy was a legend, Stone's Edge, Evan Stone. We just loved the place. So we went there every single day. He had this drink that was like whiskey and a couple of black cherries, whatever. We would, we would finish and just black out every day. That was like, that was before I kind of reined it in. Back in those days, you didn't even need to solve it. You could just win by just playing. <laughs> so then. One night, the night before we leave, we got our last night at Stoney's. They loved us by then because we had been there. They were just feeding us free drinks, free shots, whatever. I was gonna say. So we go home. We got an early car the next morning. We're in this Airbnb. And I'm sleeping, passed out. We got to get up at like 7. And I hear like like water like pattering down on the my my side table in my room. And we had like kind of a, there was a balcony where you could walk out and walk in between our two rooms. And like, it was like pitter patter. And I'm like, what? I've got a little sprinkles on me. And I'm like, what the fuck is this? What's going on? I look over. It's Mittens. <laughs> he's standing there. He's standing. He's standing over me, right? The hammer's out. He's peeing. Hold on. So are the, are the rumors confirmed about the, the hammer, the hidden hammer? <laughs> It's not small. It's okay. not small. So he's Darren. He's Darren, by the way, is the most wanted. The, is the most wanted because I've I've been interacted. I've had a lot of experiences with with females in the poker world. Okay, I know that they all love they all love the hidden hammer. It's, he's the most. He's the most wanted person. They love him. They love. Okay, so okay, so hammers out. He's pissing on you. Hammers out. He's pe he's taking a full piss on my bed stand, and he's about to wield it over towards me. And I just told him, I was just shook him, like, dude, what are you doing? He's like, I was just giving you a little sprinkle. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking. I fucking turned him around and guided him back into his back into his own room. I had took I had to take all the sheets off my bed and go bareback for the rest of the night. He gave he gave me a little he gave me a little sprinkle. He did. He really did. <laughs> <laughs> and the funniest part about it that I forgot to include in the story is that, like I told you, we were getting fucked up all week going going down in the town. And like three days prior, we're sitting there grinding. We set up our computers at the kitchen table. And we're like, dude, it smells like piss in here, right? And he's like, yeah. We're like, dude, yeah, it smells like fucking piss. What's going on? We're looking all around. We're like, this is so weird. Like, this Airbnb sucks. At the end of the week, it's like, yeah, dude, you definitely also pissed in the kitchen at one point. That's his thing. Has he, because I had, I had a lot of friends in college that would always do it. They would always piss on someone or piss. Like, I've never been done that. Have you, do you do that? All right. So, like, at Sashi's, it, we went to a wedding for her friend that was a uh, scheduled blackout for me. Mm -hmm. And oh. I, I, she called me. I opened the bedside drawers, and I was about to sprinkle them, but she called me. Wait, who, wait, who? My girlfriend. Wait, it was her and who else? Just her. It was 
So, no, me and my girlfriend went to her best friend's wedding. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so you we just came, opened the, the doors to your bedroom with her and you almost pissed no, off. No, we came back. We were sleeping. I got out of my side of the bed. I opened the drawers where she keeps her clothes, and I was about to sprinkle them. But she caught me. <laughs> In college, there was it's, – it's pretty funny, actually. In college, my college girlfriend had a little plant in the corner of her room. And one night I woke up and I sprinkled the plant. It's not the worst. Dude, I have a, I have a really I, fucked up story. I, I have a really I fucked up story about sprinkling. I never peed on anyone or did anything egregious. But what'd you All do? Right. All right. This is fucking insane. Uh, okay, so I was in college. Or I was, I was a sophomore in college, but I was kicked out and I was living at my school in a party house with a bunch of my friends. So me and my friends decide to go to St. Joe's University one night because his girlfriend has a house there and we're gonna go, we're gonna play beer pong, we're gonna get fucked up on some random Tuesday. So we go to this house, um, it's like a sorority house and there's like a bunch of girls that live there but, but they're all like asleep when we get there. We get there, we must get there at like 10 o'clock and they're all just like asleep. So it's like me and my two buddies playing beer pong for like four hours that night, getting just completely obliterated for absolutely no reason on a Tuesday. Um, my buddy goes to sleep with his girlfriend. Uh, then me and my other buddy, uh, I get this idea. Me, I get this idea. I'm like, yo, let's go in the girl's room and go in their bed and sleep with them. Like sleep with them in the bed. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a me too, me too situation. Dude, okay, so so I I am I started this all. I tell my one buddy who's like the, who's like the nicest dude in the world to go, and I was like, go in that girl's bed and, and just go see if you can sleep in bed with her. <laughs> like I, 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 I mean, like this this was not planned rape. This was just so you know, this was not planned rape. I was just like, I don't, this was like the idea that I had because we kind of didn't want to sleep anywhere else. But it was like also, I'm sure there was something weird going on. I don't think so you I, guys could get away with that these days. Oh, no shit. I know. It's fucking insane. So he, he goes he goes to, 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 jump, to jump in bed with the girl. The girl instantly wakes up and she's like, what the fuck are you doing? And then he like, he like runs out, like whatever. Me, I'm undeterred by that. I go in another chick's bed, jump into bed with her, and then that's all I remember. I actually don't even really remember anything, like, like bits and pieces. Oh, and wow. Wait- so you – What? You gorilla slept with a girl and then peed on her. So listen. So then I woke Come up. On. I, I woke up like I woke up like two hours later and I was alone in the bed and I pissed the fucking bed. Okay. So, so I fucking pissed like this, and this chick, I, I had no idea where the chick was. I have no idea what the fuck was going on. So I get the fuck out of the bed and I go in like the hallway to sleep somewhere. Uh, like, you know, with like no blanket, like fucking whatever, just whatever. Anyway, morning comes. I have pissed all over myself. Uh, my my buddy my buddy and my other buddy were like in a rush to leave, so we just leave. No one says anything to me. I'm like, thank fucking god, because I wanted to die. Like, think of how I felt at the time. I wanted to die. You know, like I That's wanted to fucking die. Traumatizing. Right. Okay. So so then we get in the car. We fucking leave. There's piss all over me. I don't say shit. I'm just like hoping this just goes away. Anyway, then when I get back to my my college house, my buddy's girlfriend calls and he's like, did Herm fucking sleep in so-and-so's bed and fucking piss the bed? I'm like, so then he ended up getting super pissed at me and like, whatever. But yeah, how insane is that? It's not, the sad thing about the the pee-pee problems is you really don't have much control over it. Like if you're, if you're a pee-pee guy, like I had guys, like no matter what happened, they were going to pee the bed. Like, you got yeah, guys yeah, no, with, sure. with you got guys with long term girlfriends that have rubber sheets at home because they just can't they can't help it. <laughs> <laughs>